Midland High Girls Swim Meet. Dow High is coached by Gary Strickler and Renee Allen, and Midland High is coached by Carol Boychuk and Kayla Williams. Kayla is new to Midland High School this year. She is a former diver from Michigan State University, and Kayla is coaching the Midland High diving team. Dow High's captains are seniors Julia Arns, Ellie Dean, Emily Arthur, and junior Elizabeth Moraskin. Midland High's captains are Sydney Meath, Cambry Reed, Elliot Reed, Callie Meath, and Sydney Gross. Tonight, Midland High is the host team, and they will swim in, swim in lanes two, four, and six. Dow High will be swimming in lanes one, three, and five. This year, we just finished senior night for Midland High. Midland High recognized 11 seniors. They were just recognized prior to the swimming competition. We're getting ready for diving to start. Typically, diving events are held in the middle of the swim meet. However, they've changed the format a little bit and the divers are gonna begin the competition and then we will start the swimming competition at the conclusion of diving. Tonight is also um, Pink Night. We are honoring October for Breast Cancer Month, and there's a lot of pink around here. The girls will be swimming in pink swim caps, and the Midland High girls are honoring one of their beloved Midland High teachers who died last year, Mrs. Sisko, who was a math teacher and math coordinator of Midland High School. We're getting ready for our first diver. I'm going to turn it over to Amy Strickler. Amy Strickler is going to be commentating with me tonight, and my name is Buffy Hall, and I'm going to turn it over to Amy right now. We have our first diver on the board. Okay, we have three driver, divers from Midland High tonight. First is Sarah Wing, second will be Kayla Patnode, and third is Sydney Gross. Sarah is getting ready to get on the board. She will be doing a 5231D back dive, 1.8 degree of difficulty. It is a one and a half somersault, a half twist, and a free position. Again, 1.8 degree of difficulty. Well, she's waiting for some instructions perhaps from her coach, or maybe they're asking for the spectators to get quiet, but there looks like there's some delay, but she looks pretty comfortable down there, chit-chatting with her teammates. There's still people, I think, arriving, maybe, that they're holding off for a minute. Who is, who is Snow? During the diving competition, it involves a lot of concentration from the divers, so the spectators need to be really quiet. One step on the bleachers, you make a squeak, and that diver on the board can hear that squeak of the bleacher. Right there announcing the diver again, and she's getting ready to get up on the board. You see a picture of the Dow High swimmer sitting on the bench. And here's our first diver. Dow High does not have any divers. Midland High has three divers this year. Quiet for the start. And this is Sarah's first dive, starting off the evening competition. The judges' five, scores, five, 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 and five. Next is Kayla Patnode. She will be doing a five, two, two, one D back dive, one somersault, one half twist, free position, degree of difficulty, 1.7. concentration on the diving board. That's one thing that I would not be able to do. Beautiful dive. Kayla's one of Midland High's outstanding divers. Midland High divers um, performed very, very well at Tri-Cities. Here we see Kayla again completing this dive. Nice entrance, clear entry, very little splash. That's what the judges are looking for. The third diver is Sydney Gross, and she will, do, will be doing a 5-2-3-1-D back dive, one and one half somersaults, a half twist, free position, degree of difficulty, 1.8. Sydney Gross finished second at Tri-Cities at the end of September. Sydney is hoping to 
qualify for the state meet this year. She competed at the MISCA championships in September and did very well. Here's a replay of Sydney's dive. They will be beginning round two of the diving competition and Sarah Wing will be doing a 202A back dive, one somersault, straight position, degree of difficulty, 1.7. Each diver during dual meet competitions dives six dives. When they get to the um, conference meets, they're required to do 11 different dives. So six dives is a little bit less stressful, I would imagine, on them than 11 dives. And then they have to be the top divers to move on to the regional level and then to move on to the state competition. Nice entry, really straight legs. Judges' scores are six, six, and five and a half. Total award is 29.75. Kayla's second dive is a 5-2-3-1-D. It's a back dive, a one and one half somersaults, a half twist, free position, degree of difficulty, 2.1. So when the divers are up on the board, their degree of difficulty ranges from a variety of different points. And then they can do tuck dives, pike dives, or a free dive. And looks like this is a free dive. Lots of concentration while she's waiting. And you can see the little jets of water underneath the diving board, if you can see that, right between those lanes. And the divers look for that, and they look for that spray of water to help on their entry. Five and one half, five. And one half, five. Five and one half. Total award, 33.6. Sydney's second dive is a 5-2-3-3-D. Back dive, one and one half somersaults. One and one half twists. Free position, degree of difficulty, 2.5. Sydney Gross is a senior competing at the, one of her best memories was competing at the state meet, as well as having fun and getting to know all the awesome girls at Midland High School. Sydney hopes to attend Hope College or Ferris State and become an optometrist. We're gonna look at that finish of Sydney's again. There's that free position we were talking about. Beginning the round three, Sarah will be doing a 5-2-2-3-D back dive, one somersault, one and one half twists, free position, degree of difficulty, 2.3. The higher the degree of difficulty multiplied by the judges' awards gives the girls uh, more points. We have three judges for diving. Looks like tonight we have both of our officials and then we have the Midland High diving coach. So those three scores are added up together and multiplied by the degree of difficulty. Four and one half, four, four and one half. Total score, 29.9. Kayla's third dive is a 203C. It's a back dive, one and one half somersaults. In tuck position, degree of difficulty, 2.0. So as the referee, you have to listen to what the dive is and then determine if they're going to land on their feet, land hand first, land facing the diving board, or land facing the office or the shallow end of the pool. So the judges really need to pay attention to what the dive is before the divers do it. So if it's a one and a half, then it clearly it's a dive. Six, six and one half, six and one half, total score. Nice entry, feet together, toes pointed, little splash. Up next, Sydney will be doing a 203B back dive, one and one half somersaults, pike position, degree of difficulty, 
Oh, she has some really nice height on that dive. Judges scores. Seven. Seven and one half. Seven. Total score. 39.45. It's pretty nice if the divers get higher than a five. She must be feeling pretty good about getting a seven. The diving scores, the divers can receive a maximum of 10 points possible. Beginning round four, Sarah's doing a 302C reverse dive, one somersault, tuck position, degree of difficulty, 1.6. If you're just joining us, my name is Buffy Hall, and I'm here tonight at the Midland High versus Dow High Girls Swim Meet, and I have with me Amy Strickler. Judges score, five and one half, four and one half, five and one half. Total score, 24.8. We have Kayla Patnode on the diving board right now doing dive 403C. It's an inward dive, one and one half somersaults, tuck position, degree of difficulty, 2.2. Inwards make me a little bit nervous. Always get nervous that their heads get too close to the diving board. So you'll see how she does this dive, how she throws herself backwards. And gets kind of close to the diving board. <laughs> that was a nice, nice dive. Total score, 38.5. Now it's hard for divers to find time to practice because this is our six lane competition pool in Midland. We have the Dow High girls swim team and the Dow High, um, or the Midland High girls swim team that share the same pool. And we also need to find time for diving practice also. So it's like three different practices in the same pool. This is Kate uh, Sydney doing her, her fourth dive, 403C inward, one and one half somersault, tuck position, degree of difficulty is 2.2. Total scores, seven, six and one half, seven. Total score, 45.1. Again, some more sevens that we're seeing. Outstanding, outstanding dives from the girls from Midland High. There are three divers tonight, all from Midland High. Sarah's doing a 103B forward dive, one and one half somersaults, pike position, degree of difficulty, 1.7. Each girl is doing six dives this evening. Wow, that had a clean entry right there. Very little splashing, lots of applause from the audience. Total score, 34.0. Kayla's doing a 103B forward dive, one and one half somersaults, pike position, degree of difficulty, 1.7. You can just see that she um, adjusted the fulcrum with her foot. The girls adjust the fulcrum on the edge of the board depending on whether they want the board to be bouncier or less bouncy. Waiting for the judges' awards. Six, six and one half, six and one half. Total award, 32.3. When the girls get out of the pool, they go and get their sammies or chamois to wipe off their arms and legs so that their skin is dry for their next dive. This is Sydney on the board doing her fifth dive. It's a 104B forward, two somersaults, pike position, to give difficulty, 2.3. Oh, that was very nice. How did they get up that high to do two somersaults and have such a clean finish? The crowd is cheering like crazy. That was really nice. That's a lot of hard work, a lot of practice right there. Gymnasts make great divers. <laughs> Except for they say that gymnastics and diving are different because gymnasts are used to landing on their feet all the time. And divers land on their feet and hands first or head first. Sarah's final dive is the 104C forward, two somersaults, tuck position, degree of difficulty, 2.2. The 
this is our last dual meet of the season. This is Sarah's last dive this year at Dow High. <laughs> Judges awards, six, six, six. Total, total award is 39.6. Kayla's final dive is a 303C reverse, one and one half somersaults, tuck position, degree of difficulty, 2.1. Final dive of the evening for Kayla. It's bittersweet. These girls have been in the water since August practicing, and it's hard to believe that this is the last dual meet of the season. Last dual meet for a lot of girls as Midland High just honored 11 seniors. And last week, Dow High just honored eight of their seniors. Judges scores, Judges scores. Six. six, five, five and, and one half, half. Five, five and one half. half. Total, total score, 35.7. And there's a replay of that last dive. Nice entry, legs straight, toes pointed. We have the final diver of the evening ready to get up on the board. Sydney will be doing her final dive of 105C, forward dive, two and one half somersaults, tuck position, degree of difficulty, 2.4. And this is senior Sydney Gross, who has had an outstanding diving season, finished second at Tri-Cities. Also, the other Midland High girls had a great finish at Tri-Cities, getting fourth and fifth place. All three Midland High girls were on the podium in September. That was Sydney's final dive. Total scores, six, one half, seven, six and one half. Total scores, 48.0. Total in just a minute, we will get the final score of the diving competition and the pool will be getting ready for the swimming competition. They're waiting for the final score right now. The Midland High girls are doing a little bit of celebrating the divers and the swimmers are starting to get ready for their events. We'd let, like to let you know that you're watching this Midland High Dow High girls swim meet on MPS TV 190 on Charter and on channel 99 on Uverse. It will be cable cast on the following dates and times, Friday, October 24th, and Saturday, October 25th at 6 p.m., Sunday, October 26th at 6.30 p.m. For more dates and times, check out the Midland Daily News Sunday TV time and the MPS TV listings in the Midland Public Schools website. This program was made possible in part with donations from Little Caesars Pizza and the Production Directors of America. The coverage of this game is being produced by MCTV volunteer access users and staff. You are invited to take the training at MCTV so you can work on shows like this one. Next orientation studio class is set for Saturday, November 8th from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. The cost is $45. Call 837-3474 for more information. If you're just tuning in, this is the Dow High versus Midland High girls swim meet. Dow High is coached by Gary Strickler and Renee Allen. And Midland High is coached by Carol Grosshock and Kayla Williams. My name is Buffy Hall, and I am here tonight with Amy Strickler, and we will be announcing We're going to um, be right back. The girls are getting in the water to warm up, so we will be right back. If you've just tuned us in, we're at the Midland High versus Dow High girls swim meet. We just com um, completed the diving round, and finishing in third place was Sarah Wing. With a time or with a score of 189.55, finishing second in diving with Kayla Patnode with a score of 209.70, and finishing first from Midland High was Sydney Gross with a new Midland High record and a new pool record with a score of 276.25. These records were set back in 1993. Was the Midland High record set by Ali Sisterka? 
and the pool record was set in 2007. In the water right now is the first event of the evening, uh, the 200-yard medley relay. The Dow High D team in lane two, Holly Young, Kaylee Niederstadt, Carson Sass, and Elizabeth Roden. In lane three, the Midland High D team of Dana Morris, Julia Quinn, Breezy Brownell, and Cassie Remedy. In lane four, the Dow High E team of Tiffany Nestoric, Brittany Baywar, Bridget Bruno, and Brooke Kuhn. And in lane five, the Midland High E team of Rachel Crowley, Serena Fleming Dittenberg, Allison Brubaker, and Olivia Barber. This is heat one of the 200 yard medley relay in the pool right now. You're probably noticing a sea of pink caps. All the girls are wearing pink caps tonight in honor of Breast Cancer Month and in honor of the beloved Midland High teacher, Mrs. Sisko, who recently passed away, a favorite math teacher by many. So all of the girls are wearing pink swim caps tonight, which might make it a little bit confusing for you. The Dow High girls are wearing solid black suits and the Midland High girls are wearing navy suits. So their navy suits and their black suits might also make it difficult to identify the girls, but swimming for, swimming, um, Midland High is swimming in lanes two, four, and six primarily this evening, while Dow High is swimming mostly in lanes one, three, and five. My name is Buffy Hall, and I'm the mother of senior Lauren Hall of the Dow High Chargers. I also have two kids in college who are swimmers. During the summers, I coach swimming, and during the school year, I coach for the Midland Dolphins and for the Jefferson and or the Jefferson girls swim team and the Jefferson boys swim team. I have with me Amy Strickler who is commentating. Amy is the wife of Coach Strickler. Amy and Gary have four children, all who are competitive swimmers. We have, uh, we're finishing up our first event of the evening, the 200 medley relay. Touching first in heat one in lane four, was the Dow High E team of Tiffany Nestoric, Brittany Baywar, Bridget Bruno, and Brooke Kuhn with a time of 215.13. At the conclusion of the relay events, each girl gets to warm down for one length of the pool. So you'll notice that the girls all jumped in for their 25 warm down. They must jump into the pool. They are not allowed to dive in. If they were to dive in by accident, they would disqualify their team for their race. So the referees are making sure that when they are warming down they have a feet first entry. The second heat of the 200 yard medley relay is about to get on the blocks. Um, in lane one the Midland High C team of Maddie Allen, Sydney Meath, Courtney Kaiser and Stephanie Lynch. The Dow High B team is in lane two Hannah Jacobs, Abby Cook, Elizabeth Moraskin and Jenna Lee. Lane three, the Midland High A team of Jordan Enns, Natalie Helfen, Allie Keekafer, and Alexis Liebig. In lane four, the Dow High A team of Jasmine Pertel, Lauren Hall, Julia Arns, and Ellie Dean. In lane five, the Midland High B team of Emily Kresh, Nicole Miller, Callie Meath, and Elliot Reed. And in lane six, the Dow C team of Anna Alsop, Kelly Ballard, Maggie Dooley and Mackenzie Perry. Lane six is the furthest lane away from away from your you know a screen. Lane one being the closest. So lane six is closest to the silver bleachers, and lane one is closest to the brown bleachers. We have Dow High that is leading in lane four. We have Lauren Hall swimming the breaststroke in lane four. Swimming breaststroke in lane five is Nicole Miller. In lane six, we have Kelly Ballard. The order of the medley relay is backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle. The breaststroker probably has the slowest time. Freestyle would be the fastest, followed by butterfly. If you're just tuning in to us, you could also watch the Dow High versus Midland High swim meet tonight on Meet Mobile. Just search Dow High or Midland High and then you should be able to follow this meet at home on Meet Mobile. The girls in lane four from Dow High 
We have Jasmine Pertel, Lauren Hall, Julia Arns, and Ellie Dean. They have already qualified for the state meet with a time of 151.86. The state meet will be held at the end of November in Holland, Michigan. And the Dow High Relay team just finished first with a time of 151.64, followed by lane two of a team of Hannah Jacobs, Abby Cook, Elizabeth Moraskin, and Jenna Lee with a time of two minutes, 0.71. And finishing up, we have lane one, the lane one C relay team of Maddie Allen, Sydney Meath, Courtney Kaiser, and Stephanie Lynch are just finishing with a time of 225.76. Our, official th our officials this evening are KG Duso and Lori Smith. KG Duso has a long history of swimming. She used to swim on the Midland Dolphins growing up and she used to coach. And Lori Smith did some coaching. And Lori Smith also, Lori and Chili Smith, have three children. And their son, Nick, is currently a freshman swimming at Albion College. We're getting next ready for the next event. Yeah, the 200 freestyle is up next. And heat one of two. For Midland in lane one is Maggie Dietz. Lane two for Dow, Abby Cook. Lane three for Midland, Brittany Duford. Lane four for Dow, Sarah Branstadt. Lane five for Midland, Rachel Crowley. And in lane six for Dow, Laura McLean. And this is heat one of the 200 freestyle. Either love the 200 freestyle or you hate the 200 freestyle. It's a very mm -hmm. long sprint. It's eight lengths of the pool and you really can't go out easy and save anything. You really have to go out and sprint all eight lengths. I actually like the 200 freestyle. So I'm a lot of 200 freestyles when I swam middle school and high school. This is a fast race. You have to kick really, really hard. You have to make sure that you're moving your arms fast. You don't want to be lazy on the turns. And you have to get into some kind of breathing rhythm. You don't want to breathe every stroke, but you also can't hold your breath for the whole time. So this is heat number one of the 200 freestyle. The first heat of each event, if there are two heats, does not score points. The scoring points are the final heat. For, and this is how you operate dual meets. For first place, you receive six points. Second place is four points. Third place is three points. Four, fourth place is two points. And fifth place is one point. And sixth place does not score any points. Relays are different than individual events. For relays, first place is eight points, second place is four points, and a third place relay is um, worth two points. But re each team can score no more than two relays. So if one team got first, second, or third in a relay, you could only score the first and second place points. So this is a 200 freestyle. This is event number two. We have heat one in the water. We have Maggie from Midland High, Abby in lane two from Dow High, Brittany in lane three from Midland High, Sarah in lane four from Dow High, Rachel in lane five from Midland High, and swimming in lane six is Lauren from Dow High. We're gonna have two heats of the 200 freestyle. When you're swimming the 200 freestyle, you have nobody counting for you, so you have to make sure that you count to eight all by yourself and you don't rely on anybody swimming next to you. I've seen kids stop after six lengths. I've seen kids do a flip turn after their eight length, eighth length, but you have to make sure you are counting by yourself. Touching first in heat one of the 200 yard freestyle was from Dow High, Sarah Branstadt with a time of 214.54. And lane two from Dow was Abby Cook with a time of 221.45. And lane six, third place from Dow, Lauren McLean with a time of 224.23. And Sarah Others. and Lauren both got best times in that.
And Maggie in lane one um, is coming up to the conclusion of her 200 freestyle. And this will complete heat number one of the 200 freestyle. Up next is heat two of the 200 freestyle. For Midland in lane one, Gabrielle Holman. In lane two for Dowhai in is Lauren Hall. Lane three from Midland is Haley Diamond. Lane four from Midland from Dowhai is Mary Noble. Lane five from Midland is Melissa Henning. And in lane six from Dow, Megan Pisarchuk. And this is heat two of the 200 yard freestyle. Mary Noble is seated first in this event at two minutes point four three. A two minute 200 free is an outstanding time. Mary already has the Division II state cut. The state cut is a 201. Mary also has the state cut in the 100 butterfly. Lauren Hall is swimming in lane two with a, entered at a time of a 202.93. Just a second and a half shy of the state cut. Dow High does not have a reputation of being a fast pool. However, if you look at Mary and Lauren out in the lead, they both are wearing fast suits today, hoping that the Dow High pool becomes a fast pool. So you're probably wondering what it means to be wearing a fast suit. Well, if you look at their suits, you can tell that their suits go down to their knees. These are called knee skins. The knee skin is a little bit faster suit than a normal suit that would just go to with the top of your hip. Of course, the price of a fast suit, um, definitely substantially different than their normal meat suits. And the amount of use that the girls get from a fast suit. They say that your fast suit, you only get a half a dozen swims and then it's time for a new fast suit. Mary is off in the lead. She started her 100 at a 58.78, and Lauren split a minute .07. Those are both very good starts for these two girls. The suits these girls are wearing are called lasers. You can buy a laser or a pro. Girls tend to buy Speedo suits. You can buy a Speedo suit or an arena suit. Mary's in the lead. Her first six lengths, she went a 131.7, or 129.78. You have to kick really hard. You have to get a lot of oxygen. If you don't get a lot of oxygen, then your legs kind of give out on you. And it makes it hard to turn, to finish up your race. Right at the end of the race, you want to put your head down and sprint into the wall, just like Mary did right there. That was a great um, finish. Mary went a 201.16, which is the state qualifying time. Lauren went a 203.50, which is just a half a second off of her best time, which is outstanding tonight, especially in this pool and with the amount of swimming that these girls have been doing. Finishing third is Megan Pisarchek with a 216.21. Finishing fourth in lane five, we have Melissa from Midland High with a two. 26, 27 in a best time. In lane five, Haley Diamond finishing with a, or in lane three, Haley Diamond finishing fifth with a 232 and finishing sixth, Gabrielle Holman with a 241.86. Gabrielle just dropped 10 seconds off of her 200 freestyle, good for her. What an outstanding swim. And the girls get to do their 25-yard warm down. I'm sure their hearts are pounding hard, and they need that 25-yard warm down. The next event is the 200-yard individual medley, also known as the IM. For Dow High in lane one is Emily Schulteis, and for Dow High in lane two, Maggie Dooley. Lane three for Midland, Breezy Brownell. Lane four for Dow, Kelly Ballard. Lane four for Dow, or five for Dow is Anna Alsop. And in lane six for Dow, Carson Sass. And this is heat one of the 200 yard IM. And this is considered an exhibition heat, which is why uh, Dow has more swimmers than Midland in this event. So an exhibition heat means that these girls will not score points. So don't get confused that Dow High has all of these girls scoring points because it doesn't work that way. 
only the final heat is the point scoring heat. So these girls are swimming for time and hoping that they get best times. We started the meet with the 200 medley relay and now we have the 200 IM. They're a little bit different. The medley relay is where four girls compete and each girl swims a different stroke starting with backstroke. The order of a medley relay is backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, freestyle. And that's because the backstroker is the only person that does not dive off the block. But when you swim a 200 IM, an individual medley, meaning that you swim this race by yourself, the order changes. The order of a 200 IM is butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle. Thank goodness the butterfly's first because that's the most exhausting stroke for most people. So it's nice to get that stroke over with first. Save the freestyle to the end because that one is the easiest to complete. I think IMers, good IMers are girls that, or boys that are good breaststrokers. If you don't have a good breaststroke, I think it's hard to hold your own in the 100 IM. And right now we have Kelly Ballard in lane four who has a great breaststroke. She's probably doing the 100 breaststroke today. That's just my guess. And you can see that pull out she just did underwater when you swim breaststroke. You do one full stroke of breaststroke underwater. If you don't do that pull out correctly, then you'll get disqualified. If you get disqualified, then your time doesn't count and your place doesn't count. In breaststroke, you breathe every stroke, just like Kelly's doing right there. And now she's ready to swim freestyle, the freestyle leg of the race. See how much energy these girls have left on the freestyle. Got to kick hard. You can see Kelly has a strong kick at the end. You can see the bubbles and the white water that she's making coming into the wall, getting ready to do her flip turn at the wall and a good push off the wall. It's important that you have a good push off off the wall. We have a good race right over here in lanes one and two. In a good race we have between the girls in lane five and six. It's nice to see when competition is close. Kelly has a huge lead in this heat. Kelly finished first with a time of 2.30.96 and she was seated with a 2.30.42. So that's pretty close to a best time. Just a half a second slower. Outstanding swim. The younger, the middle school swimmers compete in a 100 IM, meaning they do one length of each stroke. And kids that swim year round or swim club swimming would have an opportunity to swim a 400 IM where they would do a hundred of each stroke. Can't say I'd be too thrilled doing a 400 IM. Sure, go ahead. Right here we have uh, a fast suit, we call them. This is Ellie Dean right here getting ready for her 50 freestyle, or getting ready for her 200 IM. She's got a laser on. You can see that this is a knee skin. It's a suit that goes all the way down to your knee. It's really, really tight. Sometimes it could take girls 20 minutes to put on a suit like this. It can be quite comical, actually. Once these girls get these suits on, they don't want to take them off because they take so much time to put on. But I think it, it's a little bit psychological, too, makes them swim fast. On the block is heat two of the 200 yard individual medley for Midland in lane one, Emily Crush. For Dow in lane two, Emily De Ellie Dean. Lane three for Midland, Kelly Meath. Lane four for Dow, Jasmine Cortell. Lane five for Midland, Natalie Helfen. And in lane six for Dow, Hannah Jacobs. And this is heat two of the 200 yard individual medley. In lane two, we have Ellie Dean from Dow High. Em Ellie Dean is one of Dow High's most accomplished swimmers. Em Ellie Dean just signed to swim next year at Wayne State University. Ellie has a big sister, Cara Dean, who is currently a freshman at Michigan State, just swam her first um, two swim meets, I think, that she's already had at Michigan State. So Ellie will be following her big sister to do some collegiate swimming. I have with me commentating tonight, Amy Strickler. Amy Strickler has four kids who all swam at the collegiate level. Her youngest and her daughter, Summer Strickler, recently graduated from Michigan State University and was quite an accomplished swimmer. So Kara Dean is following Summer's footsteps and swimming at Michigan State. Also at Michigan State, we have Ben Martin, who graduated two years ago from Dow High, who's swimming at Michigan State also. So we have Ellie Dean here 
and Jasmine Patel. Ellie Dean is not known for breaststroke. Ellie Dean is an outstanding distance freestyler. Jasmine is an outstanding butterflyer, and she's a good 200 IMer. We have a close race between third, fourth, and fifth place, and sixth place, and a good race between first and second place. This is the heat two of the 200 medley relay. Or excuse me, heat two of the 200 IM. We were just talking about the medley relay, but this is the 200 IM. Finishing first place, you get six points. If you finish second, you get four points. Third place, you get three points. Fourth place is two points. And fifth place finishers get one point. Finishing first is Ellie Dean with a time of 214.24. And finishing in second is Jasmine Pertel with a time of 218.36. Ellie Dean just dropped four seconds off of her time. And finishing third in lane six is Hannah Jacobs with a 233.90. The state qualifying time is a 217.29. Ellie Dean just qualified in the 200 IM. And Jasmine Pertel missed that cut by one second, but she already has it because her previous best was a 215. Good for Ellie Dean. She's our freestyle swimmer, so that sure shows her versatility to get in the water and be able to do a 200 IM where she has to swim every single stroke. That's outstanding. Next event of the evening is the 50 freestyle. And this is heat one of seven. Um, in lane two for Midland, Rachel Crowley. Lane three for Midland, Olivia Barber. Lane four for Dow, Mad Madison Shore. And in lane five for Midland, Allison Brubaker. Heat one of the 50 yard freestyle. The score of the meet after the 200 individual medley is Dow High 38, Midland High 21. There are seven heats of the 50 freestyle. You might think, oh my gosh, that seven heats, it's gonna take a long time. But a 50 freestyle for these girls each takes 40 seconds or less. A lot of them getting in the low 30 seconds. Uh, a goal that a lot of these girls set for themselves is to try to break 30 seconds in the 50 yard freestyle. The state cut for the 50 freestyle for Division Two is a 25.49. We have a couple girls that have already qualified for that. Julia Arns has a Division Two cut and I know that a couple girls are trying really, really hard to get that. Finishing in the first heat, we have our first place finisher was Rachel Crowley in lane two. But it looks like our scoreboard, our scoreboard did not reset. So they're gonna have to use their backup time. Behind each lane, there is a timer and behind um, each block, there's a backup button. So as this girl finishes the wall, the timer behind her is stopping a watch and also punching a plunger, we call it. It looks like a little plunger and it's a backup button. So in the office, the computer will get their time even though the scoreboard is not telling us what their times are. The scoreboard is still telling us the times from the heat before, which was the 200 medley relay. So it's saying the girls went over two minutes in a 50 freestyle, which we know definitely <laughs> is not the case. A 50 freestyle is an all out sprint. You either love it or you hate it. So somebody that's used to swimming 200s and 500s might not like the 200 or the 50 freestyle and you try to wonder why they would rather swim a race that takes over five minutes than a race that takes under 30 seconds. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. The city of Midland is very lucky to have such fantastic swim programs at both of the high schools. There are over 60 high school girls swimming in Midland right now. Dow High has around 32 swimmers and Midland High has 38 swimmers. Both middle schools had their swim team information meet meetings this week for the middle school girls swim teams. Between the two middle school girls swim teams, we will have around 80 girls in Midland participating. 
for being such a small town, we're really lucky to have such a competitive swimming program in Midland. We're very competitive in the Tri-Cities and we're actually quite competitive in some surrounding areas. The Dow High girls had an opportunity this early this fall, late summer to compete in Gross Point and to compete in some other um, swim meets outside of our area. Last year, Midland Public Schools was able to introduce boys swimming back into their program. It's been about six years since the seventh and eighth grade boys have had the opportunity to participate in middle school swimming. They cut swimming a while ago. So this winter, the boys swim season is the end of January until the middle of March. So this will be our second year having middle school boys swimming and I think this will really help increase the numbers on the high school boys swim teams. The high school boys swim teams have been doing quite well. However, a lot of those boys are coming right from club or their friends are talking them into swimming in high school for the first time, but they haven't had any other experience. We have some great swimmers in Midland that have come out of middle school swimming. We have Tyler Petrowski, who never swam before until middle school, swam in middle school, high school, and then went on to college and swam a couple years of college swimming in Florida. We have some other um, high school swimmers that have gone on to compete at the collegiate level. All four Strickler kids went off to compete. Where did um, Gary swim? Son Gary swam for Kalamazoo College and did water polo his final year. Oh, that sounds fun. I wish we had a water polo team in Midland. And Greg swam for Western Kentucky, Gabe at Michigan State and Summer at Michigan State. So your last two kids swam at the same school. Did they ever swim together or were they back no, to back? No, um, uh, Gabe graduated in 2010 and Summer started in 2010. So oh, that was eight years of back yes. and forth to East Lansing for the Strickler parents. We were the longest consecutive family to it might have be kids a while. in the swim program. It there, might so. be a while until someone breaks that record. Well, I think the Knopf family might win for five kids and five swimmers. That's 20 years of high school swimming. You have 16 years of high school swimming. They have no collegiate swimming. I was talking to some people about how the sport of swimming is such a family sport and a lot of siblings swim together. We have an interesting combination this year. We have the Schultheis girls that are both competing. However, one is swimming at Dow High and one is swimming at Midland High. And to make it even more interesting, they swim similar events. So I'm sure there's a little bit of rivalry at their house. Maybe mom is wearing, supporting one team or dad supporting the other or they're all wearing pink shirts tonight. Tonight we are raising money for the Jen Sisko Scholarship Fund. It's created in memory of Jennifer Sisko, who was a math teacher at Midland High. Mrs. Sisko passed away last spring and a scholarship was created in her memory to help students in need. She was the head of the math department and taught for many years. She was a beloved teacher who was always positive and donations are collected tonight will be given to the students in need to help Midland High students, just like Jennifer Sisko did every day to help Midland High students. We're continuing here with the 50 freestyle um, heat two. For Midland in lane one, Maggie Dietz. For Dow in lane two, Brittany Baywer. In lane three for Midland, Taylor Lynch. And in lane four for Dow High, Isabel Kempel. Lane five for Midland, Bryn Road. And in lane six for Dow, Leanne Hogue. And this is heat two of the 50 yard freestyle. As we mentioned before, a lot of girls set goals for themselves in the 50-yard freestyle. I would say most people swim a 50 freestyle in most meets, whether you're in a 200 freestyle relay or doing it individually. But a good goal for a lot of girls is to try to break a 30. So breaking a 30 is a big highlight for 50 freestylers. This is a sprint. This is the shortest distance in a swim meet. And finishing first in lane four, we have Elizabeth Kempel with a time of 30.21, almost breaking that 30 mark. That is her best time. She was seated at a 32.9, so she had a really nice time drop. Heat three of the 50-yard freestyle for Midland in lane one, Julia Quinn for Dow in lane two, Brittany Ammerman. For Midland in lane three, Natalie Jamrog. 
for Dow in lane four, Maddie Dowenhauer. For Midland in lane five, Brittany Duford. And in lane six for Dow, Madeline Sagers. And this is heat three, the 50 yard freestyle. You might have noticed that the girls didn't get an opportunity to warm down and swim their 25 at the end of the 50 freestyle because it's such a short swim and there are so many heats of it. They only let the, they usually only let the final heat warm down. Otherwise, it would make the meet last that much longer. So the sprinters have to climb out immediately after their race. 50 freestyle is an all out sprint. Head down, don't breathe very much. Try not to breathe into your turn. Try not to breathe out of your turn. Kick really hard. You can see all of those hard kicks from the girls and all the white water that they're making. You need to keep your legs nice and straight and really stretch your arms. Finishing first was lane four, Maddie Dowenhauer with a time of 30.75, dropped over a second. Just missed that breaking a 30, but that's the best time. She's gotta be happy with that. And these girls are these girls are tired. They're still swimming nine practices a day. The Dow High girls swim five afternoons a week, three mornings a week, and Saturdays. The Midland High girls swim five or six practices a day. They swim every day during the week, and they swim on Saturdays. And if they're not in the water, Coach Boychuk has them do some dry land at Midland High before school. On the block is heat four of the 50-yard freestyle. For Midland in lane one, Serena fleming Dittenberg. Lane two for Dow, Tiffany Mistoric. Lane three for Midland, Dana Morris. Lane four for Dow, Jackie Lee. Lane five for Midland, Taylor Fagan. And then lane six for Dow, Brooke Coon. And this is heat four of the 50-yard freestyle. And I just have to say this, because I've been bribed a little bit or bugged a little bit. Dana Morris asked me to give her a shout out. So there you are, Dana, lane three. Dana is new to Midland High School. And Dana just went a 30.98. Just got a best time. So there's my shout out. Up next is heat five of the 50 yard freestyle for Midland in lane one, Cassie Remedy. For Dow in lane two, Kaylee Niederstadt. Lane three for Midland, Kayla Taylor. Lane four for Dow, Anne Marie Molinar. Lane five for Midland, Courtney Kaiser, and in lane six for Dow, Elizabeth Roden. This is heat five, 50 yard freestyle in the water. What I like about the 50 freestyle too is you can see how close that competition is. They're all seated with really similar times. Head to head, it's just touch of a fingernail that sometimes separates the finish. I think a 50 freestyle is a hard event. You have to have quick twitch muscles to get up and go. They swim high on the water. They have to kick really strong. And see how close those times are, 28, 96, 29, 90, 29, 85. Those are all close times. So finishing first with a 28, 96 was Kaylee Niederstadt from Dow High. Up next is heat six of the 50 yard freestyle for Midland in lane one, Breezy Brownell. In lane two for Dow, Holly Young. Lane three for Midland, Cambry Reed. Lane four for Dow, Sarah Saeed. Lane five for Midland, Catherine Vernier. And in lane six for Dow, Megan Pisarczyk. This is heat six of the 50 yard freestyle. The 50 freestyle requires a flutter kick. Oh, unfortunately we just had a false start in lane number one. It's important that the spectators are quiet for the start so that the swimmers can hear the call. And sometimes after there's a false start, it's up to the official to decide whether or not the swimmer gets to compete. She was walking away not thinking that she was gonna get to swim, but the officials are letting her swim. So thank you to the officials for giving her this opportunity. Right, so in the water we have heat six of the 200 or of the 50 freestyle. Lane one, we have Breezy Bromwell. Lane two, Holly, three, Cambry, four, Sarah, five is Catherine, and six is Megan. 
Finishing first with a 26.99, Sarah Saeed from Dow High. Sarah is just a freshman, and Sarah's an example of a girl that just started swimming in middle school and decided, I kind of like this sport. She was also playing volleyball and decided that swimming was her favorite. So now Sarah is a swimmer, and with a time of a 26, I'm glad she's made that decision. Up next is uh, the final heat of the 50-yard freestyle, heat seven for Midland in lane one, Anna Schulteis. Lane two for Dow, Jenna Lee. Lane three for Midland, Jordan Enns. Lane four for Dow, Julia Arns. Lane five for Midland, Alexis Leibig. And in lane six for Dow, Emily Arthur. It's heat seven, 50-yard freestyle. Julia, Julia Arns is a senior captain this year. Julia was also a junior captain. She's done a nice job the last two years organizing the team. Julia's plans are to go off to college and I think do something in physical therapy, but as far as I know, swimming is not something that she is planning on doing. Her older brother, Eric, went on to swim at Ohio State for a little bit. So we talked a little while ago how swimming is a family event and Julia swam with her brother and with her sister, Emily Arthur in lane six, swam with her sister, Rachel, at Dow High. And in lane one, we have Anna Schulteis from Midland High, who swims with against her sister, who swims at Dow High. So it's definitely a family sport. Touching first was Julia Arns with a time of 25.99. Julia already has the state qualifying time. Julia's best time in the 50 freestyle this year is a 25.47. Jenna Lee in lane two went a 26.65. Jenna Lee is trying to qualify for the state meet. The last heat gets to warm down, so that completed the 50 freestyle. And typically diving would be next. However, we started the swim meet with diving. So, Sometimes the girls have an opportunity to get in the water and warm up again, which I'm wondering is the case because I don't see anybody down at the deep end getting ready for the 100 butterfly. The 100 butterfly will be the next event. But people are moving pretty slowly on the pool deck gathering at the shallow end, so. Well, typically there is a 10 minute um, warm up here and in that's place what, of diving. That's what I'm guessing mm -hmm. they're gonna be doing right now. So if you're just tuning in, my name is Buffy Hall and I'm commentating this evening for the Midland High versus Dow High Swim Meet and Amy Strickler is here. Amy and I have probably a very long combined history or <laughs> of swimming because I grew up swimming on the Midland Dolphins swim team starting at the age of seven. Swam all through grade school, middle school, high school went off to the University of Michigan to be an art teacher, not to be a swimmer. I wasn't fast enough to swim at U of M. Came back to Midland and I've been teaching art, raised three, raising three children, all who grew up for swimming for the Midland Dolphins, swimming middle school and high school. And what about you, Amy? What about your history of your kids growing up and swimming age group? I remember giving my daughter Katie summer and another girl swimming lessons at the Midland Country Club when they were four years old. They would sit on the steps and we would sing songs and play. So I think I need to take a little bit of credit um, teaching Summer how to swim. And I know that I get to take, uh, take a little cre credit on Gabe swimming because I remember back in the early years when the blue group swam at Northeast and we used to swim with, and Gabe was only four years old and he would come to practice. He wasn't even in school yet, he was in preschool and he would come to practice. So I take a little credit in that one too. Not the older boys. Yeah, all four of my children started uh, competitive swimming at either age four or five. However, a couple of them did the wingy division at the country club at age two. That's um. when the <laughs> six and unders get to put their water wings on and swim a width in the diving well. It is very comical. Yeah, it is very comical. So. And then they swam age group and they swam middle school because a couple of your kids went to Northeast and swam because I coached, mm -hmm. I coached one of your boys at least at Northeast because we have our picture on the wall in the cafeteria at Northeast. It was the last undefeated swim season at Northeast and they used to put big, huge team pictures on the wall. We have on the scoreboard right now some Dow High and Midland High records and some pool records. Ali Sisterka's diving record was taken down today by 
um, a Midland High swimmer, Sydney, or diver, Sydney Gross, who broke Allie Sturko's record from 1993. I actually coached Allie at Northeast. Allie was a diver, and she was also a 50 butterflyer. And Sydney Gross also broke the pool record in diving. So congratulations to Sydney. What a great senior year she's having. She's hoping to qualify for the state meet. Sydney's score was a 276.25. We're gonna take a break and come back. The girls are warming up right now. We will come back and start the 100 butterfly. Oh, this is awesome, Carol's retiring. You might want to walk. Okay. We have Coach Renee Allen from the Dow High Chargers giving a shout out to Head Coach Carol Boychuk from Midland High who is finishing up her last season coaching for Midland High. There are gonna be some tears right here. Carol is a Midland High teacher. Carol has three kids. All three of her kids have gone through the swimming program. There's Renee Allen right there. Renee Allen was my high school girl swim coach when I swam at Dow High just a couple years ago, let me tell you. Carol and Renee have been friends for a long time. She's thanking Carol Boychuk. Carol Boychuk actually just got married this summer and her new name is Carol Collins. That's, a hard, that's gonna be a hard change for some of us. Carol has been coaching swimming for over two, 20 years. She coached for the Midland Dolphins for over 20 years. She coached the Jefferson Middle School swim team from 1992 to 2001. She coached the Midland High Boys from 2006 to 2012, which is now being coached by Pat Welter. And she has coached the Midland High Girls from 2004 to 2014. This is Carol's last dual meet. We're getting ready for the start of the 100 yard butterfly. 100 butterfly, this is heat number one. We have Bridget Bruno from Dow High, Mackenzie Peary in lane two from Dow High, Nicole Miller in lane three from Midland High, Sarah Saeed from Dow High in lane four, Stephanie Lynch in lane five from Midland High, and Lauren McLean in lane six from Dow High. This is heat number one of the 100 yard butterfly. The state qualifying time in the 100 butterfly is a 102.29 with a pool record set by Megan Richardson at a 58.27. Megan Richardson is an example of another high school swimmer who went off to swim in college. Megan went to swim at Eastern Michigan University and continued to swim butterfly. Did Megan just graduate with summer? So Megan just graduated last year from Eastern Michigan University. This was one of my best strokes. I was a 100 butterflyer. Butterfly is a hard stroke. You have to have a lot of upper body strength. You can see how hard that is to get both arms out of the water. They have to get out of the water simultaneously. But butterfly is a beautiful stroke to look at. We have Mackenzie Peary in lane two who is leading in this event. Butterfly does a dolphin kick where you keep your legs together and you'll see that two hand finish by both girls in lane one and lane two. You'll see that two hand touch. If you don't touch with two hands, then you would be disqualified. Finishing first was Mackenzie Peary with a time of a 109.03. She dropped a couple tenths. Finishing second in lane four, Sarah Saeed with a 110.26. Nicole Miller finished fifth with a 123. Up next is heat two of the 100 yard butterfly. In lane one for Midland, Courtney Kaiser. In lane two for Dow, Elizabeth Moraskin. Lane three, Midland High's Ellie Keekafer. Lane four from Dow, Mary Noble. Lane 
five from Midland, Maddie Allen, and in lane six from Dow, Maggie Dooley. And this is heat two of the 100-yard butterfly on the block. Maggie Dooley is a freshman at Dow High. She has an older brother and an older sister who also grew up swimming, swam um, age group and a little bit of middle school and high school. Mary Noble in lane four is seated at a 59.76. That's a huge accomplishment to break the one minute mark in the butterfly. Mary already has the D2 state qualifying time. Allie Keekafer in lane three also has a sister, Kate Keekafer, who swam at Midland High, and Kate is a sophomore at Michigan Tech University Swimming Club Swimming. And Elizabeth Moraskin in lane two is a junior captain for Dow High, has become an outstanding butterflyer this year. Got in the water and swam butterfly and said, wow, I kind of like this and I'm pretty good at it. She's seated at a 104.37. She competed at Miska's a couple weeks ago in the 100 butterfly. If you're just watching, you will notice that all the girls are wearing pink swim caps tonight in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Might be a little get, bit confusing trying to decide who's on what team. Dow High is primarily swimming in lanes two, four, and six, and Midland High is primarily in lanes one, three, and five. This is Mary Noble leading in lane four. She has had an incredible season. She already has a state cut in the 200 free and the 100 butterfly, and she has a huge lead in the 100 butterfly right now. The pool record in the 100 butterfly is a 58-27, and I'm guessing that Mary's trying to go for that record. But she's going to finish the wall with a minute point 54, which is certainly an outstanding time for Mary. Mary is hoping to swim at a D3 school next year. She's looking at the possibility of going to college in New York. She wants to major in journalism. If New York doesn't work out, then she might stay in Michigan and attend Albion College. Her mother was a swimmer at Albion College, and perhaps she'll follow in her mom's footsteps. Butterfly, in butterfly, you have to do a dolphin kick. You have to make sure that you kick with your legs together, kind of like the tail of a dolphin. That concludes heat two of the 100 butterfly. The girls will do their 25 warm down and we will get ready to swim event number seven, which is the 100 yard freestyle. In lane two, we'll have Madison Schur from Dow High. In lane three, Leanne Hogue from, from Dow High. And in lane four, Brittany Ammerman from Dow High. This is heat number one of the 100-yard freestyle. And we have four heats of the 100 freestyle. 100 freestyle is an all-out sprint, just a little bit longer than the 50 freestyle. We talked about goals or times that swimmers try to reach and breaking a minute is the time that a lot of girls try to reach in the 100 freestyle. Madison Schur is a sophomore at Dow High and Brittany Ammerman was a volleyball player and decided that she wanted to give swimming a try and Leanne Hogue um, is a sophomore at Dow High. After the 100 butterfly the score of the meet is Dow High 64, Midland High 27. The qualifying time for the 100 freestyle is a 55.59. We have in the lead in lane four, we have Brittany Ammerman from Dow High. A close race, when you have these shorter races like the 50 free or the 100 free, the competition tends to be a little bit closer. This is a really close race. You see who has enough energy left to put their head down and sprint into the wall and kick hard. When you have races like this, this is what makes you that much faster. And we're gonna have a photo finish right there. Brittany Ammerman, who finished with a 114.88. Brittany just dropped four seconds. Mm -hmm. Leanne, when a 115, just dropped a second. So great swims for those two girls. And that's how you get better times when you have somebody right next to you to push you.
Up next is heat two of the 100 yard freestyle. In lane one from Dow, Maddie Dauenhauer. In lane two from Dow, Brooke Hoon. Lane three from Dow, Tiffany Nestoris. Tiffany Nestoris. Thank you. Lane four from Dow, Isabel Kempo. Lane five from Dow, Elizabeth Roden. And in lane six from Midland, Stephanie Lynch. And this is heat two of the 100 yard freestyle. I was her art teacher, so I've known her for a long time, but my kids will tease me and say, you were everybody's art teacher. That's what happens when you teach a, a subject like that and you see every single student in the whole school. And I teach like 600 kids a week and coach another 200 kids a week. Luckily, some of those same kids overlap. But I like to impress people that I know you a lot of kids' a very names. popular <laughs> lady. I just like working with kids, teaching art and coaching swimming, my two favorite things. I think I have the best job in the world. We have lane four. Um, Isabel Kempel is not in this race. Well, I hope everything's okay. Sometimes that happens. If a, a swimmer doesn't show up to their race, they have to declare a false start. So either their coach or the swimmer will go up to the referee and let the referee know that they will not be participating in that event so they know not to expect them. And that's called the declared false start. So we have the 100 freestyle. We have a lot of freestyle events and dual meets coming up in a row. We have the 100 freestyle, and then pretty soon we'll have the 500 freestyle, and then we'll have the freestyle relay. So it's three freestyle events in a row. So freestyle is the most popular event because in a swim meet you do a 50 free, a 100 free, a 200 free, or a 500 free. It's like the universal stroke. You probably swim the most yardage of freestyle in practice. And these kids swim a lot of yardage. So finishing first, we have Tiffany Nestorak with a time of 109.82 and a new best time. Up next is heat three of the 100 freestyle. In lane one for Midland is Allison Brubaker. In lane two for Dow is Brooke Schultz. Lane three for Midland, Kayla Taylor. Lane four from Dow, Anne Marie Molinar. Lane five for Midland, Olivia Barber. And in lane six from Dow, Jackie Lee. And this is heat three of the 100 yard freestyle. 100 freestylers have to have fast starts. They spend a lot of time at practice getting off the block quickly. kind of a nice break from yardage to work on starts and turns. Pretty soon these girls will start to taper. They've been practicing really hard. Their yardage will slow down a little bit and the length of the practice probably will shorten a little bit as they're getting ready for the final Valley Championship meet. That will be in two weeks. So hopefully the girls that are sitting on state cuts will have a good taper so they'll have an opportunity to drop those few more seconds to get those state cuts. So this is heat three of the 100 yard freestyle. If you're just watching us, we have Allison Brubaker from Midland High in lane one, Brooke Schultz from Dow High in lane two, Kayla Taylor in lane three from Midland High, Anne Marie Molinar in lane four from Dow High, Olivia Barber in lane five from Midland High, and Jackie Lee in lane six from Dow High. This is heat three of the 100 freestyle. Um, you are watching this Midland High, Dow High Swim Girls Meet on MPS TV 190 on Charter and on Channel 99 on Uverse. It will be cable cast on the following dates and times. Friday, October 24th and Saturday, October 25th at 6 p.m. and Sunday, October 26th at 6.30 p.m. For more dates and times, check out the Midland Daily News Sunday TV time and the MPS TV listings in the Midland Public Schools website. This program is made possible in part with donations from Little Caesars Pizza and the production directors of America. I'd like to thank the Midland Daily News for, nice, for some nice publicity. There was an article in the paper last night um, announcing this swim meet and the headlines of this swim meet were in the front of the sports section. So thank you to the Midland Daily News for great publicity and supporting Midland Public Schools athletics. In that last heat, Anne-Marie Molinar in lane four took off hmm, almost a second and a half in her 100 free. On the block now is 
fourth and final heat of the 100 yard freestyle um, in lane one for Midland, Cambry Reed, lane two for Dow, Jenna Lee, lane three for Midland, Jordan Ems, lane four for Dow, Emily Arthur, lane five for Midland, Alexis Leibig, and in lane six for Dow, Emily Schulteis. And this is the final heat of the 100 yard freestyle. Cambry Reed is a senior at Midland High who plans to attend Delta College for the next couple years and would like to eventually transfer to Central Michigan University. Her favorite events are the 500 free and the 200 free stop. This is the final heat of the 100 freestyle. The state qualifying time is a 55.59. We have Emily Arthur in lane four, who is seated at a 57-4, and Jenna Lee in lane two, seated at a 57-9. Both of these girls are working hard to reach that 55.59 mark, and the pool record is a 51-86, so it's far off from the pool record, but they both went 58-8. So ho hopefully with a taper coming up soon, these girls will have an opportunity to swim at Saginaw Valley in a couple of weeks and get that time. Really nice finish. You can see how close that finish is at the end. You can see that black um, edge on the gutter. That's the top of the touch pad. There's an electronic touch pad. So when the girls touch the wall, it stops the computer, which is on the wall, so their times immediately show up. So you can see lane one and lane two. It's a difference of seven one hundredths of a second. That's like a fingernail touch. Up next is the 500-yard freestyle in its heat one of two for Midland in lane one, Bryn Road, and for Dow in lane two, Carson Sass. Lane three for Midland, Sydney Mead. Lane four for Dow, Madeline Sagers. Lane five for Midland, Haley Diamond, And in lane six for Dow, Brooke Schultz. And this is heat one of the 500 yard freestyle. This is a long event. Each swimmer will be swimming 20 lengths of the pool. Thankfully, they don't have to worry about counting their lengths. At the shallow end of the pool, there are lap counters. Each swimmer has a lap counter that flips over a number. And then at the conclusion of their race so on their beginning of their 20th link they shine a red or an orange card so that they know that they're on their last link but at the last 55 yards remaining of the race the starter will beep a horn or shoot a gun or whatever they have for starting nowadays it's a horn or sometimes they ring a bell to let the audience know and to let the swimmers know that they only have two more links left usually the swimmers don't hear that bell or to hear that horn but it's mostly for the spectators. 500 free is a long race. I swam a lot of 500 frees. The state qualifying time for Division II in the 500 free is a, a 526.59. Ellie Dean holds the pool record at a 505.91. She's seated today at a 5.11 in the next heat. So her best time this year is a little bit off her own pool record from last year. So we'll see what she's able to do today. We have two heats of the 500 free. So this is about 12 minutes worth of watching swimming. Six, just to give you a little idea about what a 500 free is, it's 20 lengths of the pool. So in age group competition or year-round competition. You could swim a 500 free, you could swim a 1,000, which you would race 40 lengths of the pool, or you can swim a mile, which you would swim 66 lengths of the pool. In high school swimming, a 500 is the longest distance. In middle school swimming, a 200 free is the longest distance. And in college swimming, I believe, Amy, if you could help me out, is it a mile? Or a thousand, this from a thousand, a, a thousand mm -hmm. in high in college mm -hmm. swimming. So there are more events. Also in college swimming, you swim a 200 of every event. So you do a 200 butterfly, a 200 backstroke, a 200 breaststroke. Where in high school swimming, you only swim a 100 of those events. So how long does college meets last? Um, hours. 
two and a half, three hours, and they have diving that goes on At simultaneously the with the swimming. With the swimming, so right. you don't stop the swim meet to watch diving. Uh, occasionally they may, but uh, for the most part, the diving is going on because you have a, a diving well down at the one end of the aquatic center and the swimming pool at the other, so they, they, they yeah, they just keep running them and same time. With so many girls competing, it's nice that we're able to offer extra heats because some teams are really small. For example, the Dow High girls had a dual meet on Tuesday, and the swim meet we had, the other team only had 12 girls. So we didn't have all these exhibition events. When you don't have a lot of exhibition or extra events, then a meet might last an hour and a half. But right now we're going on, we've been here for over an hour and a half already because we've had the opportunity to allow so many girls to swim. But I can't imagine a college meet lasting twice as long as a high school meet. That's a long day. That's a long day, yeah. Well, we were just at MISCA's a couple weeks ago and that meet was like a five hour meet. That meet is a conference meet for the entire state of Michigan. Division one, division two, and division three. There are qualifying times. The MISCA meet, M-I-S-C-A, it's a swim officials a meet. And the top girls in the whole state participate and they hope to get their state qualifying time. Some girls do, some girls get close. Luckily, we have a few more chances. We have the Valley Meet, which is a two-day meet. It's a prelim meet on Thursday, November 6th, and finals on Saturday, November 8th. I think those are the dates. So that will be our next meet, and then two weeks after that, the girls will have their state meet. All three of the Dow High relays have qualified for states. And Midland High is hoping, hoping that Sydney Gross will qualify for states in diving. But as we were talking before with diving, in diving competition for a dual meet, Sydney only had to dive six dives. But when she goes to the valley meet and the state meet, her number of dives increases. It's more like 11 dives that she has to compete in. A little bit of information tonight. The Midland High girls were celebrating senior night. They had 11 girls on their swim team that will be graduating. And the Dow High girls celebrated senior night last week. They have eight girls that are graduating. Of those um, seniors, a couple girls plan to continue and swim at the collegiate level. Ellie Dean has already um, agreed to swim at Wayne State University. She has a verbal commitment. And Mary Noble is considering continuing her swimming and would like to swim at a D3 school. As far as the other girls are, the other seniors are concerned, I have not heard of any other seniors that are interested in swimming. Potentially Lauren Hall might consider swimming at Albion College. She's gonna go on a visit in a couple of weeks, possibly um, before the state meet in November and visit at Al Al or Albion College. Gary Strickler is the coach of the Dow High girls swim team. He's been coaching for Dow High for 12 years, but he's been coaching for the Dow High boys for 14 years. This, yeah, this fall will be 14. This fall will be his 14th season. Well, this fall is approaching pretty quickly because these girls, this is our last dual meet for the Midland High swimmers and the Dow High swimmers. And the high school boys start like immediately after the girls' state meet. The boys always start the Monday before Thanksgiving. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They get in the water yeah. for three. You don't get a break, do you, Amy? <laughs> Amy, you live, sleep, and breathe swimming just like everybody else. Maybe more so. It's a lot of swim meets. You don't have to go to all the practices, though. You just get to go to the swim meets. You get the fun part, right? <laughs> Amy usually sits in the office with my husband, Randy, and they're a great duo. Amy does all the announcing in the office, and Randy runs the computer. But tonight, Midland High is hosting, so I got to steal Amy tonight to do the announcing on MCTV, and Randy is still in the office running the computer. We had Carson Sass touch first here with a 6.33.72, which is... Mm, Six seconds faster, seven seconds faster than our seed time. It's kind of nice this time of the year. You like to see the times drop just as you're wrapping things up. And Coach Strickler and Coach Boychuk slash Coach Collins 
do a great job keeping statistics for the girls. And we have all these computer programs, team manager and meet manager, that can keep track of all the statistics, best times, time drops, how many points you've scored. And they like to keep a long history of all of that. The score of the meet before the 500 freestyle is Dow High 75, Midland High 32. You don't see that photo finish everybody touching the wall at the same time on a 500 freestyle like you do in the 50 free and the 100 free. And if you do, if you swim neck and neck with somebody on the 500 free, that is one, one difficult sprint. <laughs> That's a really, really hard thing. Okay, we're ready for uh, heat two of the 500 yard freestyle. For Midland in lane one is Elliot Reed. For Dow in lane two, Julia Arns. For Midland in lane three, Catherine Veneer. For Dow in lane four, Ellie Dean. For Midland in lane five, Anna Schulteis. And for Dow in lane six, Mackenzie Peary. And this is heat two, final heat of the 500 freestyle. Well, we were talking about families. Catherine Veneer's older sister, Sabrina, just graduated from Midland High. They got to swim together for a couple years. And Sabrina is a freshman at Michigan State University. Not swimming, but Sabrina and Catherine got to swim together. And we have Ellie Dean in lane four, who is seated at a 5'11", but holds the pool record at a 5'05 that she set last year in 2013. And Julia Arns is in lane two. Ellie Dean is also one of our senior captains. Julia Arns, Ellie Dean, and Emily Arthur are the captains at, um, at Dow High. Captains have a lot of responsibility, leading the team in cheers, helping to pick out clothing. And the junior captain at Dow High is Elizabeth Moraskin. Carol Collins would like to thank Sue Meath for being her team, her, their team mom and their booster club rep. Sue Meath has helped coach Boychuk for many years. She has four swimmers that have all gone through the Midland High program. And Sue Meath is responsible for organizing everything outside of the pool for equipment orders, collecting money, and she's been involved from 2000 to 2014. Coach Strickler would like to thank Jane Moraskin, who has helped run the parent side of the Dow High swim team for years. She's the one that organizes shirt orders, sends out an endless amount of emails, sets up and communicates information about team dinners and hotels and information about the Booster Club, and we're really excited to announce that through a combined um, collaboration with Dow High and Midland High Boosters, the Dow High Swimming Pool will be getting six new starting blocks. I heard recently that those starting blocks were going to be purchased within the next couple weeks, so that will be nice for the boys' season. Hopefully the boys will have the starting blocks in. Unfortunately, the girl seniors won't get that opportunity but the boys senior should have that. Coach Renee Allen is the assistant coach at Dow High. She's been coaching with Coach Strickler for around nine years. Coach Allen does an outstanding job working with the girls. And you always see her on the pool deck with her clipboard in her hand writing down all the statistics. Coach Allen's daughter Lindsay swam with her for a little while, but her children Lindsay and Michael prefer baseball and softball. Outstanding athletes, both of her kids. We have Ellie Dean in lane four. Current time is two minutes and 50 seconds. Swimming the 500 freestyle. At the shallow end of the pool, there are girls lined up lap counting their 20 lengths so that they don't have to worry about keeping track of what their lengths are. I know when Ellie swims the 200 freestyle, she tries to hold around 32 seconds per 50. I would say most girls try to hold around 40 seconds per 50. Ellie makes it so easy. 
She's a great distance swimmer. We have Julia Arms in lane three, also swimming the 500 freestyle. Elliot Reed in lane one. Catherine Vernier in lane three. Anna Schulteis in lane five. And Mackenzie Peary in lane six. Mackenzie Peary has dropped significantly in the 500 freestyle. She probably also has swam it more than anybody this season. Has really become a great distance swimmer. She finished in the top eight at Tri-Cities this year, which was a really, really big deal for her. One of her highlights of her swimming career was finishing in that 500 freestyle in September. Hopefully she'll get to swim that 500 freestyle at Bally's in a couple of weeks. Just We're another reminder that in lane one is uh, Midland's Elliot Reed, and in lane two is Dow's Julia Arns. Lane three is, Mid is Midland's Catherine Rainier. Lane four, Dow's Ellie Dean. Lane five is Midland's Anna Schulteis, and in lane six is Mackenzie Perry from Dow. Elliot Reed is a senior at Midland High. She plans on attending Aquinas College in Grand Rapids to specialize in neonatal nursing. Elliot's favorite races are the 200 IM and the 100 breaststroke. It's bittersweet for a lot of these girls. They've been swimming together for a long time, especially the senior class. And tonight is the last dual meet of the season, the last competition for these girls. And a lot of these girls have swam club swimming together. And then they're heading off to college and they're all going to different places after spending so much time together. We're having a, a Jen Cisco scholarship fund tonight as the girls are teaming together to raise money for a scholarship that was set up at Midland High School. It was created in memory of Jen Cisco to help students at Midland High School in need. So the girls are all wearing pink caps tonight. Ellie Dean finished that 500 freestyle at a 5.14.02, just off her best time this year. It's hard to compare your best time from year to year. You can't compare your lifetime best times. You have to go from season to season because things change in a year. The coverage of this game is being produced by MCTV volunteer access users and staff. You're invited to take the training at MCTV so you can work on shows like this one. The next orientation studio class is set for Saturday, November 8th from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. The cost is $45. Call 837-3474 for more information. Not sure if you heard if you want something to do Next Friday night on October 31st, the Dow High soccer team and the Dow High girls swim team are having a fundraiser and they're having a swim meet and they're selling pink t-shirts to raise money. I think they're $10 and that's your ticket into the pool. I think the meet goes from four o'clock until six o'clock. It's next Friday. It's a new thing that the senior captains are working on. I think the senior captains are gonna be putting together the lineup and the senior captains on the soccer team are gonna be putting together a lineup. Sounds like a lot of fun. I might have to do that next Friday. So we have uh, the uh, results from the 500 freestyle. Uh, Ellie Dean won with a 514.02. Julia Arns in lane two from Dow High. Swam a 521.15. She was seated at a 535. Um, third place was lane six, Mackenzie Peary with a six minute 34. The score of the meet after the 500 freestyle is Dow High 88, Midland High 35. You know, I think more than anything, the girls don't even, it's just a friendly competition between Midland High and Dow High and the girls all swim together during the off season or they grew up swimming together. There's not a whole lot of rivalry here. It's just a bunch of friends getting together and swimming in the same pool at the same time. On the block is event number nine, the 200 yard freestyle relay. Um, this is heat one of two. Uh, the Midland High F team of Gabrielle Holman, Maggie Dietz, Al Allison Brubaker, and Olivia Barber are in lane one. Lane two for Dow is their F team of Kaylee Niederstadt, Bridget Bruno, Isabel Kempel, and Leanne Hogue. In lane three, the Midland High D team of Cassie Ramady, Bryn Road, Julia Quinn, and Dana Morris. 
Lane four, the Dow High D team of Abby Cook, Jackie Lee, Kelly Ballard, and Madison Schur. Lane five, Midland High's E team of Stephanie Lynch, Rachel Crowley, Brittany Duford, and Serena Fleming Dittenberg. And in lane six for Dow, their E team of Brooke Schultz, Elizabeth Roden, Madeline Sagers, and Brittany Ammerman. And this is heat one of the 200 yard freestyle relay. This is the fastest relay at a dual meet. Each swimmer swimming two lengths of the pool freestyle. Freestyle is the fastest stroke. We talked earlier that swimmers try to break 30 seconds in a 50 freestyle, but if you are the second, third, or fourth swimmer, typically your split is a little bit faster than the leadoff swimmer. You can't count it as a best time, so if you were to break 30 seconds or get your best time in a relay split, it would just be your relay split time, not a recorded best time. The only time that would actually count would be the lead swimmer. So if the lead swimmer got their lifetime best time leading off a relay going first, then it would count as a best time. For example, if somebody was trying to get a state cut or some kind of championship time or a record or something like that, they could establish that by going first. But no other relay position. So this is a fast event, lots of cheering, kicking hard, not breathing, fast works on fast turns, good push off the wall, fast starts. This is probably the event that you would most often see a false start because you get so anxious waiting for the swimmer to come in. So you have to make sure that you don't leave early off of the block. Our officials this evening are Lori Smith and KG Duso. We have a replay of the finish on the 200 freestyle relay. That long stretch into the wall, you gotta hit that wall hard. The team to touch first in heat one was the Dow High F team of Kaylee Niederstadt, Bridget Bruno, Isabel Kemper, and Leanne Hogue with a time of 204.44. Up next, heat two of the 200 yard freestyle relay. In lane one from Midland, the C team of Taylor Lynch, Natalie Jamrug, Kayla Taylor, and Breezy Brownell. In lane two, the Dow B team of Mary Noble, Sarah Saeed, Lauren Hall, and Emily Schulteis. Lane three, the Midland High A team of Ellie Keekafer, Emily Krush, and Anna Schulteis, and Jordan Enns. Lane four, the Dow High A team of Elizabeth Moraskin, Jenna Lee, Emily Arthur and Anna Alsop. Lane five, the Midland B team of Cambry Reed, Sydney Mead, Natalie Helfen, and Catherine Vernier. And in lane six, the Dow C team of Lauren McLean, Megan Pisarczyk, Maggie Dooley, and Anne Marie Molinar. This is heat two of the 200 yard freestyle relay. Relays only score for first, second, and third place. Fourth, fifth, and sixth place relays do not score points. First place scores a total of eight points, second place scores four points, and third place scores two points. So you really want to try to get first place because that's worth eight points. If you get second and third, that's a combined total of six points. So you really want to try to get that first place relay. You score more points if you get first than if you got second and third. If one team were to score first, second, and third place, you are only allowed to score a maximum of two relays, so that third relay would not be able to score any points. In lane two, we have Mary Noble, Sarah Saeed, Lauren Hall, and Emily Schulteis. In lane two, we have Lauren Hall in the water right now. In lane four, flipping right there, we had Emily Arthur. And this is our fourth swimmer, Emily Schulteis, and in Alsa. 200 freestyle relays usually have close races also where you have that fingernail touch at the end. If you're just tuning in, this is the Midland High versus Dow High final dual meet of the season. Finishing first was lane two, Mary Noble, Sarah Saeed, Lauren Hall, and Emily Schulteis with a time of 147.62.
finishing second with a time of 148.75. In lane four, Elizabeth Moraskin, Jenna Lee, Emily Arthur, and Anna Alsop. And finishing third from Midland High, Allie Keekafer, Emily Crush, Anna Schulteis, and Jordan Enns. Jordan Enns is a senior at Midland High who plans to study biology at either the University of Michigan or Harvard and continues swimming in bands. The girls are warming down after their 200 freestyle relay and now we are getting ready for the 100 backstroke. We have heat one of the 100 yard backstroke. Up next for Midland in lane one, Melissa Henning, and for Dow in lane two, Anna Alsop. Lane three for Midland, Taylor Fagan. Lane four for Dow, Bridget Bruno. Lane five for Midland, Maddie Allen. And then lane six for Dow, Sarah Brandstadt. This is heat one of the 100 yard backstroke. So at the beginning of the 100 backstroke, the backstrokers get in the water and they have a place to hold their hands on the starting block. Sometimes people put their hands in the gutter. Throw their arms out to the side, a long kick underwater. You can see in lane four and lane five had a long streamline underwater. You can either flutter kick or dolphin kick. You wanna keep your head nice and still, keep your arms straight. Pinky comes out of the water, thumb, thumb comes out of the water, pinky enters the water first. Do a flutter kick in backstroke, just like you do in freestyle. It's kind of hard doing backstroke because you can't really see where you're going. It's even worse swimming backstroke outside if you're an outdoor competitive swimmer or even an outdoor lap swimmer. You don't have any lines on the ceiling to follow. The yellow, green, and blue flags on the around the pool are backstroke flags. Those flags help the backstrokers know that they're getting close to the wall, so each backstroker should know what their stroke count is before they do their flip turn. Just before they go to the wall, they turn onto their stomach, do a frontward somersault and push off on their back. And you have to make sure you touch the wall on your back. If you don't touch the wall on your back, then you would be disqualified and your time and your score would not count. Touching first in heat one of the 100 yard backstroke was lane four from Dow High Bridget Bruno. She finished with a 111.69. Sarah Brandstadt touched second with a 116.45. Third place was lane two, Anna Alsop from Dow with a 117.09. The final heat of the 100 yard backstroke from Midland in lane one, Callie Meath. In lane two from Dow, Hannah Jacobs. Lane three from Midland, Emily Crush. Lane four from Dow is Jasmine Pertel. In lane five from Midland is Allie Keekaver. And in lane six for Dow in, uh, is Holly Young. This is heat two of the 100 yard backstroke. Callie Meath is a senior at Midland High. She plans to study biological sciences or pre-med, but is undecided where she will be going to school. Her favorite events are the 200 IM and the 100 backstroke. Hannah Jacobs is, entered, is seated at a 103.17. The state cut is a 102.49. Hannah is hoping to qualify for the state meet in the 100 backstroke. Jasmine Pertel is seated at a minute point 44. And Jasmine is, already has the D to qualifying time. Jasmine Pertel is a senior at Dow High and plans to attend the University of Michigan to study pre-med. Jasmine Pertel has a huge lead in this event. The pool record in the 100 backstroke is a 58.37. Jasmine's broken a minute before in the 100 back, but her best time this year right now is a minute. Point four. This is event number 10, 100 backstroke. Our next event will be breaststroke and then our relays. Jasmine's finishing time was a 101.66. And Hannah Jacobs finished second at a 105.61. And finishing third was Emily Crush at a minute point 10.
Getting ready for the girls' 100 breaststroke. In heat one of two in the 100 breaststroke for Midland in lane one, Gabrielle Holman. For Dow in lane two, Kaylee Niederstadt. For Midland in lane three, Natalie Jamrod. For Dow in lane four, Elizabeth Moraskin. Lane five for Midland is Taylor Lynch. And in lane six for Dow, Brittany Baywar. This is heat one of the 100 yard backstroke, breaststroke, excuse me. Jessica Hoyta holds the pool record in the 100 breaststroke at a 105.79. Jessica Hoyta swam at Millen High School, graduated, and went on to swim in Louisville, Ken Louisville, Kentucky. And she ended up having a great college season. The 100 breaststroke or in a 200 breaststroke. In breaststroke, you have to touch the wall with two hands. When you push off the wall, you do a pull out underwater, which is one stroke of breaststroke underwater. When you're pulling your hands down to your legs on that pull out, you're allowed to do one butterfly kick. That's one of the newer rules in competitive swimming. So you can see Elizabeth turning right now, touching with two hands. There's that pull out with that breaststroke kick. You breathe every stroke, and you really have to lunge forward and get that nice streamline. You want to make sure that you're not shortening your stroke. You can see Elizabeth in lane four and Kaylee in lane two. Kaylee just moved to Midland this summer and has been a nice asset to the Dow High girls swim team. In lane six, on the far end of the pool by the silver bleachers, we have Brittany Bauer. Elizabeth, who's just about ready to touch the wall. You see that nice glide into the wall, nice finish. Finish at a 117.78. Elizabeth was seated at a 120. Nice job, she dropped over two seconds. Okay, we're just about getting ready for the final heat of the 200 breaststroke. In lane one for Midland is Nicole Miller. In lane two for Dow, Abby Cook. Lane three from Midland, Natalie Helfen. Lane four from Dow, Lauren Hall. Lane five from Midland, Elliot Reed. And then lane six from Dow, Kelly Ballard. And this is heat two of the 100 yard best breaststroke about to start. The state mm -hmm. qualifying time in the 100 breaststroke is a 111.09. Pool record is a 105.79. getting ready to start the last individual event of the day. It's the start of heat two of the 100 breaststroke. And then the girls are going to be getting ready for the 400 yard freestyle relay. We have senior Lauren Hall in lane four. Lauren plans to attend either Central Michigan University, Grand Valley, Michigan State, or Albion. So this is heat two of the 100 breaststroke. In lane one, we have Nicole Miller. Lane two, Abby Cook. Lane three, Natalie Halpin. Lane four, Lauren Hall. Lane five, Elliot Reed. In lane six, we have Kelly Ballard. <laughs> Elliot Reed is also a senior at Dow High School. There's that two-hand touch, looking for that pull-out. Went out of 33.70. To the 100 breaststroke. You're watching this Midland High, Dow High Girls Swim Meet on NPS TV 190 on Charter and on Channel 99 on Universe. It'll be cable cast on the following dates and times. Friday, October 24th and Saturday, October 25th at 6 p.m. and Sunday, October 26th at 6.30 p.m. For more dates and times, check out the Midland Daily News Sunday TV time and the NPS TV listings in the Midland Public Schools website. This program is made possible in part from donations from the Caesars Pizza and the Production Directors of America. Lauren Hall just finished first with a time of 112.05. Second was Abby Cook 
from Dow with a 117.19, finishing third was lane six, Kelly Ballard from Dow with a time of 121.48. And finishing fourth was Elliot Reed with a 123. Finishing fifth in lane three was Natalie Halpin with a 123. And finishing sixth was Nicole Miller with a 126. That concludes the individual events. Now we're getting ready for the final relay. We have two more heats. Heat one of the two 400 yard freestyle relay um, for Dow High in lane two, the F team of Lauren McLean, Maddie Dauenhauer, Brittany Ammerman, and Isabel Kempel. Also in for Dow in lane three, the E team of Carson Sass, Brooke Kuhn, Madeline Sagers, and Leanne Hogue. And in lane four, the Dow D team of Brooke Schultz, Anne Marie Molinar, Jackie Lee, and Madison Schur. And this is heat one of the 400 yard freestyle relay, last event of the evening. The score of the meet going into the last event is Dow High 125, Midland High 44. My name is Buffy Hall, and I am the mother of senior Lauren Hall, and I am commentating for the Midland High versus Dow High swim meet with Amy Strickler. I coach for the Midland Dolphins, primarily the beginning level swimmers, the blue group and the yellow group, and I coach for the middle school swimmers for the Dolphins. I also coach for Jefferson Middle School girls swimming and Jefferson Middle School boys swimming. And if that's not enough, in the summer I coach and manage at the Midland Country Club. I also coach swimming lessons at my house. <laughs> I guess you could say I love swimming. All three of my kids um, grew up swimming. All of my brothers and my sister grew up swimming. And my husband has been become a swimming dad and running all of the swim meets. So he's the guy in the office running the computer. And I have with me Amy Strickler, who also has spent the majority of her hours at a pool and driving her kids to and from practice, making breakfast for the kids and feeding them. It's a lot of hours, isn't it, Amy? It's a lot of hours, and we're, we're definitely a swimming family. Everybody has been uh, competitive swimmers since they were really four or five years old. Gary swam some club swimming when he was in high school, and I do not swim. I was gonna ask you that. I grew up all swimming too, but my mom and dad don't swim either, and actually my husband doesn't swim. My mom got us all swimming because she said we lived in the state of Michigan. There was water everywhere, so we were going to learn how to swim. And my older brother was kind of good at it, and the rest is history. We all grew up swimming, and of my mom and dad's 16 grandchildren, now 15 of them have swam competitively. My brother Jim, who coaches masters and swims masters, his two kids didn't grow up swimming but his younger daughter, who's a senior in high school, decided her senior year that she was gonna swim. So my brother was thrilled. Swimming is definitely a family sport. We have a lot of families that have siblings that swim. So that means that the parents in the bleachers have definitely built some strong friendships, just like the swimmers in the water have built those strong friendships. My oldest son, who lives in Ann Arbor, has a child, a little girl, who is almost three, and she's been swimming now for eh, maybe six months to a year, so. The next it generation. Will, it will continue. <laughs> the next generation. She has no choice. <laughs> Hopefully, she'll love it just as much as her dad and aunts and uncles. Did your um, daughter in law swim also? No. No? no. no. So she's going to be like you, and she's going to be like my husband and learn swimming. It's a fantastic sport. Swimming definitely teaches um, students and kids how to budget their time. Swimmers tend to be good, um, good students, get good grades. I know good heads on the I shoulders. I say the one thing at like Michigan State swimming is their grade point average is unbelievably high. Well, I know that we have some other kids that have come out of our Midland age group program that go on and swim in college. And I know they offer like study sessions for college students. Like they have to go and do study sessions to make sure they're maintaining their grades. And I know that the swimmers in Midland public schools have high grade point averages. You look at these senior brochures that were some of these girls from Midland High and Dow High are planning on attending colleges. And they're a smart group of kids. It's a good, it's a good discipline. When you swim, you have to manage your time. And 
I always can tell when my kids are off or on a break from swimming. They're not as they're not as tired as they are. They have all this extra energy and time, and they're not focused, and they have a harder time getting their homework done. I just really like the discipline of swimming. Look at this race right here. These three, lane two, three, and four. What an exciting finish. The crowd is really cheering. This is gonna be a photo finish. Look at this lane one coming from behind. Ready to touch the wall first, wow. Lane one finished. Lane two. Or lane two, sorry for my angle. It looks like lane yeah. one. It's a Dow F team of Lauren McLean, Maddie Downauer, Brittany Emmerman, and Isabel Campo. They swam, finished in a time of 4.48.51. That, uh, that was a great finish, that was fun. Yeah. So now the girls are jumping in for their warm down and we're getting ready for the final heat of the night. In lane one is the Midland High B team of Taylor Lynch, Kayla Taylor, Haley Diamond, and Nicole Miller. In lane two, the Dow B team of Sarah Saeed, Emily Schulteis, Hannah Jacobs, and Emily Arthur. In lane three, the Midland High C team of Alexis Liebig, Anna Schulteis, Melissa Henning, and Catherine Grenier. In lane four, the Dow High A team of Julia Arns, Mary Noble, Jasmine Pertel, and Ellie Dean. And in lane five, the Midland High A team of Cambry Reed, Elliot Reed, Sydney Meath, and Kelly Meath. And in Dow High, the C team of Mackenzie Peary, Megan Pisarczyk, Sarah Branstad, and Holly Young. And this is heat two of the 400 yard freestyle relay. The A relay team of Julia Arns, Mary Noble, Jasmine Pertel, and Ellie Dean already have the Q2 State qualifying time entered at a 3.42.92. I feel like they're trying to break a record, a pool record today, but I can't see that far away, so I really don't know what the pool record is. So we're going to have to wait and see at the end. Now the Dow High record is a 3.32.46. 3.32.46? Mm -hmm. And I, I just really can't quite make out because it's a real small print. <laughs> It's small the print, it's far away, far away. So each swimmer will swim four lengths of the pool. This is a pretty fast relay also. The coverage of this game is being produced by MCTV volunteer access users and staff. You are invited to take the training at MCTV so you can work on shows like this one. The next orientation studio class is set for Saturday, November 8th from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. and the cost is $45. If you're interested in more information, please call 837-3474. This is the last event of the day. This is the Midland High versus Dow High girls dual meet. This is the 400 yard freestyle relay. In lane four from Dow High, we have Julia Orange, Jasmine Pertel, Mary Noble, and Ellie Dean. In lane three, we have Alexis Ligig, Anna Schulteis, Melissa Henning, and Catherine Vernier from Midland High. In lane five from Midland High, we have Cambry Reed, Elliot Reed, Sydney Meath, and Callie Meath. And in lane six, we have Mackenzie Peary, Megan Pisarczyk, Sarah Branza, and Holly Young from Dow High. And swimming in lane one from Midland High, we have Taylor Lynch, Kayla Taylor, Haley Diamond, and Nicole Miller. We'd also like to thank Taylor Fagan for helping announce the swim meet and swim. So thank you very much for her help during the swim meet this evening. And thank you to Lori Smith and KG Duso who have officiated this evening's swim meet. And if you haven't heard, a while ago, Re Coach Renee Allen from Dow High um, thanked Coach Carol Boychuk Collins for all of her years of swimming at Midland High School and for their friendship because this is Carol's last season coaching at Midland High. Carol has been coaching the Midland High girls swim team for 10 years, she started in 2004. She coached the boys swim team from 2006 to 2012. And she started her school coaching career by coaching the Jefferson Middle School team in 1992. Something about Carol Boychuk, she swam in college at Iowa. 
between the 400 IM and the 100 breaststroke and made the Olympic trial cut in the 1980 Olympics. However, didn't get to go because the 1980 Olympics were boycotted. Coach Gary Strickler has been coaching the Dow High girls swim team for 12 years. The Dow High girls have an undefeated season this year. They have won their dual meets and they also won the Tri-City Championships and have, and all of the girls will be competing at the Valley Championships in the next couple weeks. You know, one thing I'm looking the most forward to is no more morning practices. 4.45 a.m. wake-up calls are really early at our house. So I'm looking forward to sleeping in a little bit more. I don't think people understand how much work these swimmers at Midland High and Dow High go through. It's a very grueling sport. Finishing first in lane four is Dow High with a time of 348.28. Finishing second in lane two from Dow High with a final time of 402.82, or 89. And Dow High finished third with a score, or a time of 414. This is an example of what I was talking about earlier. If one team scores first, second, third in the relay, the third place score doesn't count. And I'm not sure if that means that Midland High automatically gets a third, a third place, the two points. But you know what, these girls really don't care, and that's what's so great is they're here for friendship. They've all swam together for so long. It's a friendly competition. Okay, hey, our swimming competition is finished for the evening. Uh, we're waiting for the final score of the meet. The girls are going to warm down now, and some of them probably will I'm sure they'll have swim. some team <laughs> cheers. You know how girls are. They're going to get up, and they're going to do their cheers, and they're going to um, thank each other and clap hands and high-five each other. That's how girls are. Girls love to do all that cheering. We'll line up on the edge of the pool down in the shallow end. We're waiting for the final score of the meet. We've got the 400 yard freestyle relay team slowly making their way down to the shallow end. They know that they don't have to hurry because the swim meet is over. This is the conclusion of the Midland High versus Dow High girls swim meet. And the girls are all wearing pink caps today. They're having a pink out. And tomorrow is the Midland High versus Dow High football game. And tonight was the JV football game. So there's been a lot of school spirit this week between Midland High and Dow High. And Midland High and Dow High soccer played last week, I think, in Midland High one soccer. So they were all the girls right. are down mm -hmm. at the shallow end getting ready to do their end of the meet cheers. And there they go, their swim, swim, swim cheers. Again, in case you just turn, tuned into the uh, television station. Um, you were watching the Midland High, Dow High girls swim meet on MPS TV 190 on Charter and on channel 99 on UVerse. It will be cable cast on the following dates and times. Friday, October 24th and Saturday, October 25th at 6 p.m. Sunday, October 26th at 6.30 p.m. For more dates and times, check out the Midland Daily News Sunday TV time and the MPS TV listings in the Midland Public Schools website. This program was made possible in part with donations from Little Caesars Pizza and the Production Directors of America. The coverage of this game is being produced by MCTV volunteer access users and staff. You are invited to take the training at MCTV so you can work on shows like this one. The next orientation studio class is set for Saturday, November 8th from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. and the cost is $45. Call 837-3474 for more information. The final score of today's swim meet is Dow High 137, Midland High 46.
This was a friendly competition between Midland, How Midland High and Dow High. My favorite part of the evening this evening is seeing all these girls come together that have known each other for so long and all of these parents that have known each other for so long that have swum together and supported each other and what a great sport swimming is. And I really enjoyed spending my evening tonight with Amy Strickler and this is my daughter's last swim meet so I don't know if that's my favorite part of the night. She teases me and says that after this year I'm no longer a swim parent, I'm just a swim coach. So I'm taking that kind of seriously. I've enjoyed all my years being a swim parent so I'm just gonna have to adopt the 200 kids that I coach and call them my kids. So really enjoyed being here this evening with Amy. So the final score again of the meet tonight was Dow High 139 and Midland High 44. Uh, my favorite part of the night was seeing all the colorful pink around. I do like pink. There's pink also. balloons. There's pink caps on the girls. There's pink shirts on. I see pink a lot towels. Of timers. Even Coach Strickler, um, I dug out a green shirt for him that has the pink lettering on the front. <laughs> Coach Renee Allen has a pink bandana. Coach and a pink skirt. Pink skirt. Um, Coach Boychuk Collins has got a white shirt with pink trim, so it, it's, I mean, a lot of parents with pink, and it's just a very colorful meet with pink paper up here, uh, everything's printed on, and um, it's just, it was a fun meet, so thanks, Buffy, for inviting me to do this with you. All right, so again, one last time before we wrap things up, the final score is Dow High 137 and Midland High 46. Have a good night.